hello everyone i am back and in today's video we are going to be doing another halloween makeup look tutorial and this tutorial is going to be on a fairy but just not any regular fairy because fairies are supposed to be quote unquote um good things like just good things in general but i don't want it to be good a good thing i know it sounds bad but like to me halloween is all about like dark things all about chills the scared terror and all of those type things so my fairy is going to be um i made her up by the way um my fairy is going to be the dark fairy the lightning fairy that no one talks about the forbidden fairy so she's she's always isolated and by herself because everyone thinks that she's mean just because of the way she looks and stuff but she's actually not mean she's a sweet person but at the same time she doesn't give a shit about what people want to say about her and all that so she'd rather just be by herself you feel she got that she got that swag we're going to be doing um the blonde bros i know i said that i most likely will never do blonde bros again but i feel like i want to give her blonde bros she deserve blonde bros you feel so um so i'm just going to be showing you guys another way i came up with um with like doing the blonde bros which is like i'm going to be using my angled brush that i glued down and also the um the l'oreal paris infallible full wear concealer in the shade proclaim 320 and also the warriors palette from juvia's place and this color we're going to be dipping into again so let's just start off by um um making the brows more defined with this so just put it on the brush like so Make sure you get it on like an even coat. Coat. Close the concealer just so it doesn't spill, get everywhere. And then you just like outline your eyebrow and stuff. are drawn on now so what i'm going to be doing is taking a dense flat brush and dipping into this shade right here on the warriors palette by juvia's place Okay, so now that's it's the brows are all set now I'm just going to be carving it out okay so I carved out the bottom part of the brow so I'm going to show you guys how I did it on this one so I'm taking ooh, um, a, a different shade of concealer in the same line but this one is called chestnut 425 and just applying it on a flat brush And then I'm going to be starting from right here.
And now I'm going to be taking a dense fluffy brush and just blend out this concealer so I can start priming my lids to do the eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm just going to be showing you guys how I ended up with this on this eye. So I am going to be taking the concealer that I used for my brows, which is um, the L'Oreal the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Proclaim 320, and then I'm just going to be putting some on my lid just to prime it. Okay, so now I'm just going to be taking this brush right here and then just blending out that concealer. So now I am going to be dipping into the Bright Matte Palette by Beauty Bay and dipping into this shade right here. I really don't know how to pronounce it. The black on the palette I'm going to be dipping into with this brush right here. It's very dense and fluffy. Let's just take that up on the brush and then just pack it right onto the lid. Now I am going to be dipping into the palette once more and I'm going to be dipping into this shade right here and just putting it directly above the black. to be dipping into the palette once more i'm going to be dipping into this shade right here so i know i look a bit crazy right now but i was going to do the bottom eye after i put my base on but i'm like let me just do it now so um i'm going to be dipping into the palette and i'm going to be using a um dense fl like a, a fluffy blending brush and dipping into the block that i put on my lid and then just put it directly under the like bottom lash line. And then just dipping into the first blue that I used, which is this one right here. dipping into this blue right here okay now that it looks like this 
I'm going to be doing the lightning portion of this eye okay so this is how one eye came out so now i'm just going to try my best to replicate it on this eye or something similar to it because lightning is imperfect to be honest it never strikes um at the same place twice and looks the exact same whenever it does so here we go so i'm just taking the same concealer i used for my brows and taking a um pencil like stencil brush I think I got this from Amazon and just go in and outline it and do what's supposed to be done. to be dipping back into the beauty bay <clears throat> palette and dipping into this blue right here and i think it's called paradise and then taking a pencil looking brush that's like pointy and just dipping into the color and then just go over just stamp it onto the concealer cut on um, the area that i drew the concealer on taking um the nyx professional makeup um white liquid liner this is how it looks I, I think i got it on um amazon to be honest and it wasn't that expensive it was like under ten dollars and then i'm just going to be drawing the lines onto the area that i put the blue on and the lines doesn't even have to be straight to be honest just have fun with it So the bottom portion of the eye try and replicate it once again or get it close to it as possible the same stencil brush the same concealer get it on there uh, and then just go in and have fun back the brush dipping back into the same blue and then stamp down get the white liner So now that's 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 the eyes so far so now i'm just going to be finishing up the brows putting my base on and then just come back and see where we go from there 
Okay, so I ended up putting on the ears and stuff. I was going to go with blue blush, but it wasn't working. So I just went with like the regular ones. And then for the lashes, I just like get some regular ones. I think I bought them on Amazon. And um, just put white foundation on it. And then I set it with the same powder that I used to set my eyebrows and stuff. So now I'm just going to be popping some shimmer right into the corner of my eye right here and I'm going to be dipping into the palette from Dramatique Boutique that's called No More Nudes and you guys can use code JADES for some savings at checkout. So I'm going to be dipping into the blue shimmer shade right here that's called Margot. it and now i'm going to be going into the lips i'm going to be doing like the korean style lips only hope that's the actual name for it because i don't know the actual name for it but um to start it off i'm going to be dipping into the uh bright matte palette by beauty bay and dipping into the dark blue that we used which is this one right here and then just pop it right onto the center of our lips. And by the way, before I like did this, I just put like my regular concealer that I would use to um, conceal on my lips. And that's why it's like this. And then I also set it to so it doesn't like move around a lot and stuff. gloss from dramatic boutique and yes just use the code jades for some savings at checkout so let's just go and give it a bit more like a glossy glossy finish i'm going to be using the um dragon fruit scented lip gloss from lo cosmetics and i just recently became a um brand ambassador for them so i do have an active code and it's jades and i think it gets you 20 percent off so you guys can go and check her out so let's just pop this on So I ended up popping in some contacts. The contacts are blue as you guys can see. And I can see out of it like perfectly fine and everything. But yes, I still do have two contacts in my eye because I have to have my, never mind, not really matter, honestly. So the contacts are from TTDI. And yeah, this concludes the look. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.